Hey y'all, it's y'all favorite face, D-Lay. Bitch, I'm back in the booth. Early as fuck, yeah, it's going on too. Nah, I ain't sleep, hell nah, I can't snooze. Grinding and working, got something to prove. What's the word? It's your favorite face, D-Lay, and I'm back with another reaction video, man. Right now, I'm about to react to Central C vs. Digga D, the violent background or the violent backstory, man. If y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all smash the like button and smash the subscribe button. Like, it's the thickest, baddest girl you've seen, man. Follow me on Instagram at I am D-Lay. TikTok delays 513. And man, we're gonna see what they talking about, man. As y'all know, if y'all been on this channel, y'all know these my niggas. These my niggas. Central C and Diggity, they both my niggas. You feel me? I always say Central C, you know, he got a different little style every time we react to his music. I can't really tell what sound he finna bring, man. Central C, y'all just know that's my nigga, man. You feel me? He be, he be going crazy on all the, all the songs he be dropping and shit. They both be going crazy, but you feel me? Y'all always. I was looking when I was looking up their music and shit. We all uh, sent it to me. I see like they'd be like Central C vs. Digga D. Central C vs. Digga D. But I never really, you know what I'm saying? I never really knew where it stemmed from. So shit, I guess we finna say to see today, man. So let's let's get right into the video, man. Let's, let's see if they talk about it. When you look at the UK draw scene and its numbers, no, it's y'all know. see who's at the top of the game right now. With Central C hitting number one in the charts with his new mixtape 2 3 and Digga D securing features like Moneybag Yo, no one else in the UK scene is really doing what they're doing right now, which becomes even more interesting because these two have a long history and not a good one. What's up, guys? It's your boy Kid Nerd back with another one. And it's crazy because it's always like the biggest artist from places always gotta have some fucking beef bro like damn they always gotta have some beef one thing i said about central c is i see he plugged in with a lot of different artists like on social media and shit i don't know if he got the feature so like and subscribe and comment below let's get into it which one is considered like the bigger artist though like i feel like it's central c but shit i don't think nigga d too far behind though i don't know so today we're taking the story to West London, which is probably the weirdest part of London for so many reasons. So on one side here we have Digger D, who's from Ladbrook Grove, which is located in the borough of Kensington and Chelsea, one of the richest and poshest boroughs in the whole of the UK. But the borough also has the second highest crime rate in London. Famous Ladbrook Grove rapper AJ Tracy explains how it is living in the area in one of his interviews. An area where we're living in this. That name sounds familiar, AJ Tracy. Like, I heard of him from somewhere. Shit, I gotta get him on the, has he been on the channel? He might've been on the channel, but if he hasn't, y'all gotta, gotta let me know some, y'all gotta let me know some videos to uh, react to from AJ Tracy. That's crazy, niggas from the richest part, and that shit, and that shit the second most, uh, that shit got the second highest crime rate. That's crazy. He's fantastic, the Central C was also born in Ladbroke Grove, but is a couple years older than Digger. But Central C moved around five minutes away from Grove to an area called Shepherd's Bush, another quite notoriously dangerous area in West London. And you will soon learn why this location switch for Central C was important in his feud with the rapper Digger D. Now, Digger D and Central C actually went to school with each other. They both attended Chelsea Academy School in West London, but Digger D got kicked out of school in the start of year eight. So the pair didn't really have many run ins with each other at school and central c was quite quiet and low key in school so he You're probably right. wasn't easily noticed but from school both rappers took completely different paths central c from around 2015 started trying to launch his music career with a song on the music platform called street heat and he even managed to get onto a remix with big east london rapper jay huss in early 2015 around the same time he had to support his family and with his music career not launching yet he had to get it in another way he previously had a job at a shoe store but left less than a month in and just like many other kids in london he started the cycle of going to ot to make some fast money on the other side in 2015 digger d started getting his face more beta on the roads back in 2015 shepherd's bush and ladbrook grove actually used to be part of one gang called 916 alongside some other areas in west london and you can even see a young digger in a 916 music video from the rapper john five in his song ain't scared but in 2016 in terms of the 916 gang split the whole group apart creating several different break-off batches in west london the 916 members from ladbrook grove broke off and continued to use the name 916 i be wondering like dude bro got a face the nigga who talking bro like these niggas be knowing a lot about shit like i don't know it's like they was in it or something like i don't know like they be how the fuck do they be knowing this shit bro like 
he know though that they had an internal dispute, then they niggas got into it and all this shit. Like he's as I eventually started ripping as a the UK name drillologist, which like, represented the two postcodes across Landbrook Road, which are W10 and W11. And 916 members from Shepherd's Bush divided into two different sets called 12 World and 12 Anti. The same year, Digger D dropped his first music video called Hella Bands, where you can see other 1011 members. And that was the start of what we know Digger D to be now. Throughout 2016 and 17 putting on other 1011 members onto his tracks and 1011 started to blow up faster than anyone in the scene at the time you may be asking why they blew up so fast 1011 were really the first uk drill group to have no filter at all literally just saying the hottest stuff on beats describing specific events quite graphically which is something drill rappers didn't really do to their extent at that time but one of the main reasons for 1011's blow up was the constant mocking of a so i'm trying to see with diggity the one in the uk so basically they trying to say Digga D the one over there that started the fucking like disrespectful ass music and shit. Cause no Chicago and shit, this shit been going on. Like, or the US, whatever y'all wanna call it. But down in Chicago, like that shit, that shit low key been going on. So it's like low key for since for a minute, but it, like 2012 or something, I say like on a mainstream level, but like so this so Digga D is the one who responsible for starting that shit in the UK, huh? So, so y'all gotta let me know that he the, is he the one that started the ew, like the ew, like not saying their names and shit or was that what he did at first and then niggas just started like putting like the sirens on there when they said the names and shit. Bro, I ain't, I ain't know all in 2017, that. An opposition member... Like what they say? One of the main reasons for 1011's blow-up was the constant mocking of a murder which took place in 2017. An opposition member called T-Wiz. So it was April 2017, early in the afternoon, and T-Wiz had just stepped out of his house in Norfolk, West London, which is an op block to the 1011 gang. T-Wiz was then approached by two guys from an opposing gang called Rainer's Lane, who are linked with 1011. And once they spotted T-Wiz, they stabbed him in the stomach and ran from the scene. T-Wiz then tried to run to a nearby alleyway around 100 yards from his house, but collapsed and died. Digga D and 1011 would mock T-Wiz's death in pretty much every song. So two men were put on trial for the murder, one being a guy who went by the name T-Rose, but both guys actually ended up beating the murder charge due to claims of self-defense. After beating the case, T-Rose then went on and made a drill song, not only mocking T-Wiz's death, but he went and reenacted the murder in the music video. But stuff started getting hot for T-Rose, so he went and moved around three hours away. How the fuck? If the, if that shit went exactly like that, how the fuck do a nigga come out the crib, get stabbed in the stomach? If this is how they say happened, he came out the crib and them niggas saw him and they stabbed him. How the fuck do you get off for self-defense? Then you reenact the, these niggas. Hey, they, <laughs> Ah, <laughs> UK niggas different. I ain't gonna lie. These niggas reenacted the motherfucking scene. Okay, y'all different. North of England. Y'all really different. Y'all don't give a fuck. That could not stop anyone because T Rose was shot five times and killed in broad daylight. Damn. Even after moving to the other side of the country. Damn. His ass trying to get up out of that car. Damn. Damn. So let's take up. it back to 2017. The beef between Digger D's 1011 and Central C Shepherd's Bush was getting serious. During this, Digger D really started making a name for himself oh, with his tune about called No name. Hook and his next up track starting to rack up some big views. And even though all of his songs would be featured by other 1011 members, it was clear Digger was the star of the group. And he even started to attract a lot of international attention to the UK drill scene. But with the constant release of diss tracks, the beef was only becoming hotter, which eventually caught up to Digger and 1011 members. While all of this was going on, Digger's gang, 1011, had been getting investigated and tracked on every movement they made. On the 9th of November 2019, Digger and four other members were riding out when their car got stopped near Portobello Road in Ladbroke Road. Digger tried to make a run for it with his face covered, but he didn't get far and was taken down and arrested by the police, where he was found with a large machete down his trouser leg. One more machete, a knife, and two base... What was they say? What? <laughs> what the fuck? 
I'm thinking they gonna find this nigga with a gun and so they say a machete and some die. These niggas samurais over there, boy. What the fuck? Who also recovered in the car or on the members? All five niggas members were sentenced for conspiracy to commit shit. violent disorder, with the older members receiving Young prison sentences. But Digga D at the time was only 17. Oh, bro. So got a lighter sentence of a year in the detention unit. Originally, the members stated that the weapons were for props for a music video. But after the powered up evidence, they all pleaded guilty to their charges. And this could have very much been the beginning of the end for Digga D. They even played his music at court, where they showed he referenced real life unsolved crimes in his area, which caused the police to get YouTube to take down most of Digga D's songs, including his next up, which was one of the most viewed UK drill songs at the time, with 11 million views. Yeah. Even putting Digga D on Channel 4 News to make an example of him to others. Digga was also slapped with a criminal behaviour order, which prevented him from writing lyrics on his rivals and mentioning dead people like T Wiz. This was quite a turning point for UK drill because after this we started seeing more and more drill songs getting taken down we started to cause drill artists to water down and censor them mm, so is that why they uh is that why they don't say shit like they kind of just they kind of just ooh, ooh, like they kind of block that shit out on bro now nah, okay hey see I'm getting a little lesson in this bitch I always be asking these questions hey I'm getting a little lesson, hold on. This, we started seeing more and more drill songs getting crazy, taken though. down. We started to cause drill artists to water down and censor their lyrics to stop this from happening. Then on October 8th, 2018, Digger was fresh home. Boy, hey, was nasty. you get me? But it just seemed like he still couldn't keep himself out of trouble. Now, this is where Central C now gets involved in this story. Now, at this time in 2018, Central C was starting to build a steady name for himself. He was already blowing up on Instagram with his unique type of drip and his pretty boy looks. But his music wasn't quite blowing up yet with a more wavy type of sound, which was kind of what everyone else was sound like at the time. <laughs> they say with his wavy drip and was a pretty boy style. <laughs> it's goof ass. <laughs> But what happened on the 30th of November 2018 might have been a big reason due to his quite drastic career and sound change. So Central C alongside his brother and some other guys were posted up near a Sainsbury store on Davisville Road in Shepherd's Bush when they were approached by two males. They started getting into some sort of verbal altercation. One of the males pulled out a knife and stabbed Central C's brother just under his left shoulder and then cut from the scene. Central C and his brother then went inside the Sainsbury store where the police came and they started to treat the wound. Two men were arrested for this, one of the men being Digga D. Digga D and his friend were eventually released due to lack of evidence and Central C went kind of MIA for a little while but Digga just couldn't stay out of trouble. On January the 2nd 2019 at around 7 p.m police was called to Harrow Road in West London due to a large fight between around 20 people. Harrow Road is the area of another West London popular rapper called Fredo and also happens to be another area Digga has conflict with. After this fight, it was reported that two men were stabbed from the altercation. Digger, along with two other ten men. So just in the UK stabbing niggas, huh? That shit crazy. They got machete just stabbing the fuck out of it. Okay, what the fuck? Y'all is that bitch going crazy. <laughs> and I was gonna say too, like, it's crazy because I don't like I don't listen to Central C music. I don't even think he really like he be dissing or whatever. Maybe he doing I just don't people to something like but I don't know. Like, I don't feel like he this as hard as Digga D do for sure. But, like, that's why you probably don't hear him going inside the store. Were arrested seen, like, alongside uh, some other members of the HRP gang who was on the other side of the conflict. Digga was arrested and sent back to prison for two years and six months. Luckily, before Digga went inside, he had already finished up his debut album, Double Tap Diaries, and recorded some music videos to some of the tracks. This album is kind of what blew him up to the next level because before this, he didn't have that many solo songs. He released a music video to his hit song, No Diet, on April the 18th while locked up. The the song done big numbers and is currently on 26 million views, setting him up for a lot of hype for when he comes yeah, out. Digga ran into some issues though while inside prison. He was stabbed in one of his eyes, making him partially blind. Then on the 22nd of May 2020, Digga D is fresh home once again. Oh my god, this is beautiful. It's beautiful. 
I'm emotional, guys. I'm Where's emotional. He partially and blind? comes out with one of his biggest songs yet, a song called Wave. This wasn't Wait. too far after Central C dropped his first big song as well, called Day in the Life, which put Central in the limelight. And Central C went from strength to strength in 2020, getting numbers in everything and anything he dropped. But he really oh. took off after dropping his hit song Loading, which is now on 80 million views. Even Digger D was seen listening to him in one of his Insta lives. And it seemed like Digger didn't really have that many personal issues with Central C at the time. But Digger did have problems with a lot of the people in Central C's music videos and people around him. Central C had many members of the 12 anti gang around him, which obviously has conflicts with Digger D's side. Not only this, but Central C featured on a song with the West London rapper Fredo, who is from an area which historically has always had problems with Digger's area. Ever since then, Digger has been moving kind of wild, talking about the situation with his brother back in 2018 in a couple of unreleased songs. But it seemed like Central C wasn't trying to reply to any of Digger D's disses and not give the situation any type of limelight. Until recently, when he dropped his new mixtape called 2 Free, on one of his songs called End of the Beginning, he sends for Digger D's ex girlfriend called Tennessee when he says, I want to hit Tennessee and I don't mean Nashville. Digger responded to this on his Insta, pretty much saying, Why is he sending shots to his ex and not him? But when we look back at Central's life, it makes sense why he hasn't really replied to Digger. Literally, just from the fact he's not really involved in all of this beef the two areas have. Obviously, it seems like the two have had their own little bit of history, but I think Central C is just at a point of his career where he just wants to go clear and live in peace. Like, this guy could easily clear 10 million views of video at this point, and is building a fan base all over the world. He's literally a walking, living potential Hall of Famer in this rap game. That's he doesn't need to be involved in all that street stuff. With Digger, it's all a bit different. Digger has kind of thrived off his controversy and bad boy image, and that works for him. That's his audience. When we look at Central C's career, he's getting them big views from his songs like Commitment Issues and Obsessed With You, songs for and about girls. So this whole gangsterish type of route he's dabbling with now, in my personal opinion, I think he needs to scrap it. And he could potentially turn into the first international pop star to come from UK Drill. Anyway guys, let me know what you all think about this situation. And of course, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It's been your boy Kid Nerd and peace out. See, it's actually crazy. That's kind of how I was thinking of it. Like, he seemed like he, like, it seemed like Digga D was one really blew up for real first and got a certain type of, like, fan base already. But Central C just came up out of nowhere and he just taking that shit. He got that shit in the chokehold. I ain't gonna lie. It's like, I'm peeping too. Like, every time Central C do a song, like, his shit do numbers quick. Like, real quick. I'm like, um, bro, and I never really see him really say nothing about Digga D for real. And I haven't heard that song either, so... And if I did hear that, I wouldn't even know what the fuck he was talking about either. But damn, okay. Nah, no. Nah, now nah, it all makes sense. Like, why nigga, like, nigga D, yeah, he definitely is a certain way of his shit. And Central C definitely is a certain way of his shit. And this is why I can never really pinpoint, like, what the fuck happened because I don't really see them say much about each other. But I see it's like some passive aggressive shit. Like, okay, I see, I see what this is. I see what this shit is. Nah, I'm bro. They talking about the violent bad. I mean, I guess it's violent. Niggas come walking around. This y'all doing money. Y'all walking around with machetes, bro. Like, damn. So his ass got caught with a machete up his pants leg. Nigga, how is you running out the car with that shit on, bro? And I ain't know nigga D been locked up that many times either. He be, you know, not long sentences, but shit, he be sitting for like years and shit. That shit crazy. Y'all like the video, man. If y'all like the, if y'all like the story, the backstory, Central C, man, nigga D, man, make sure y'all smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, my IMD Lace. TikTok D Lace Pad 13. And we out. Okay. Bye. Bitch, I'm back in the booth. Early as fuck, yeah, it's going on too. Nah, I ain't sleep, hell nah, I can't snooze. Grinding and working, got something to prove.